Hey, welcome back. My name is Corey V, and today we are going to be going through my last quarter of 2020, my empties. So let's get started. Let's take a look. There is quite a bit of hair this time. Yes, I finished up my Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, and I finished up the hair treatment mask. So, well, I feel like that's a pretty good accomplishment. I did do a full review of this stuff up when I was about halfway through it all. You can check that out up in the corner. But bottom line, I don't think I really changed my mind on it. I thought it was kind of overpriced. The results were, like, nice. But, like, now that I'm not using it, I think I'm having better hair days. So, I mean, I could always go back and try reformulating the formula because it's completely customizable but I think my money is spent better elsewhere I think I get more bang for my buck doing other stuff so it was really fun to try really fun to customize but overall I can't see myself trying it again I also finished up the intensive hydration shampoo this is the Manuka honey and Mephora oil from Shea Moisture I really like this stuff I thought I was having good hair days with it I've moved on to something else and I feel like I'm having better hair days again. So I really love a couple of the Shea Moisture lines for my hair type. Search Corey V and Shea Moisture. You can see some of my favorites. I've done a lot of reviews on these different lines. And this one again was a good one along with the, it was the hibiscus line that I really loved. So I don't know, check it out. Easy to find at the drugstore. I wish the bottles were bigger though. The last thing I bought that I'm currently using, it comes in a giant pump bottle and I don't know, I just feel like these are too small. You go through them pretty quickly and just because of like how thick and like nourishing they are, they are pretty tough to get out of the bottle, especially the conditioners. So I feel like having a bigger bottle would just be like more economical overall. But uh, yeah. I actually bought the hair mask to go with this one as well, and I'm still working through it. I just finished up a Dove Relaxing Lavender Oil and Chamomile Body Wash. I really like these Dove body washes. I don't know, they're pretty basic. Um, and I like the lavender scent, but I'm so over lavender. So we repurchased, we got the cucumber, cucumber and something else, I don't know. But I love how big these bottles are. The only thing is I wish you could store them upside down so you get every last ounce of product. But whatever. I still like them. Another hair thing. <laughs> this is from Redken. This is the Curvaceous for Spirals Spiral Log High Hole Gel. And this one I would actually consider repurchasing again. I got my hair cut probably about a year ago. I picked this up and she recommended it to me. And I really like the way it smells. I like the way it holds. It still leaves your hair touchable, which is always kind of nice. And uh, really no complaints. Other than the bottle, I would prefer if it was a pump bottle for getting your gel out. But that's pretty minor, and I would definitely consider repurchasing this again in the future. Oh, this is a big one, you guys. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Foaming Cleanser. And I bought this. It's got to be like three or four years ago, but I keep testing other face washes um, regularly, so this one kind of got neglected. I love the way it foams up. I got this recommended back when like Tati Westbrook was like the hottest thing and before her, all her scandals and everything, so kind of a nostalgic one for me. I'm not going to repurchase it because I have found so many other face washes that I really love. But this is definitely one that I recommend, especially if you like a foaming cleanser. It's good for sensitive skin, like they say, no fragrance or anything. And it's really good for taking off your makeup, so it's kind of like the perfect one. I just, uh, I've got other ones to try, so. Alright, we've got two mascaras. These are both YSL. The Mascara Volume Fe Fossil, the curler and the mascara vinyl couture i've tested these both out during a 12 hour wear test you can check them up up here they're both nice and okay but they're both not 40 dollars nice you know okay what else do we have oh this is a sad one i finished up this smashbox 
Always Sharp Lip Liner, and it was a surprise pen. I didn't know it was coming. It's the Tyne kind of pencil that you use the cap to advance, so you twist it up and it sharpens the point and extends the product. And I was like probably using it as it died. And this is definitely something that I would repurchase if I ever needed to purchase another lip liner. I really like the formula. I thought it was the right amount of creamy, but like stays in place. And beautiful color. This is the color Crimson. And yeah, again, really repurchase. I really like the Smashbox Always Sharp Eyeliners too. I have a couple ones in brown that are really, really beautiful. This one, I was actually going to do a 12 hour wear test, but I could not. This is the Annabelle Eye Ink Sharpie. And as you can see, it just has a like chisel tip marker. But I bought this thing. It's like 10 bucks at the drugstore here in Canada. Annabelle is like a really big drugstore brand here in Canada. And I thought, ooh, I love liquid eyeliner. I love different tips of eyeliners. But this one was like so dry, so stiff, it's so hard to use that I'm not even going to bother wasting my time <laughs> with a 12-hour wear test. I just would not recommend it. The times that I did wear it, it was just so hard to apply that like the fact that it could last 12 hours or not it was kind of a moot point because it was just so unenjoyable to actually use. So huge dud here. <laughs> would definitely not, not recommend the Annabelle Eye Ink Sharpie. Getting rid of another beauty blender. Yeah, it's been, what, four months? Three months? Three months, I think, uh, since I started using this blue one. I feel like it went through, like, an extra heavy period of makeup, so happy to be throwing this one out, and you can see I just used this pink one, which was its replacement, so. Bye! Okay, here's a good one. This is the L'Oreal Inner Intense in Carbon Black. I'm pretty sure every time I do an empties video, I have one of these in it. This is like my ride or die eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. It's got a beautiful felt tip. You can see just how dry and crusty that brush tip is. When you see that build up like along the applicator, that's really when you know it's time to throw it out. Um, but yeah, love it. Already had a backup waiting to go in the drawer. Freaking love these things. If you struggle with liquid eyeliner, I would highly recommend you try this out. It also stays really well on my greasy lids. Love that stuff. And the last thing in here, I don't know if I actually, I'm pretty sure it was already in a previous empties video and I might just be holding it onto it for Project Pan, but the Josie Moran Argan Matchmaker Serum Foundation is in the empties box. And again, I really like this stuff. I've done a full 12 hour wear test of this stuff up here. I thought I was gonna be underwhelmed. I thought it was gonna be overpriced and just kind of like overhyped, but it really surprised me. I really liked it. It's supposed to be self adjusting foundation. I have no idea how that works or if it's true or not, but the shade matched me well and I really like the way it wore. So that's it for my empties. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this quick empties video. Wow, that was so much hair products, not a ton of makeup. Um, it's funny because I just did a huge cleanup of my bathroom and I threw out so much old product. It felt so good. Stuff that I didn't even include in like an empties because maybe I had decluttered it once and then I decided I wanted to try it again, you know? You're allowed to do that. Or it was just like absolute junk. <laughs> that was like five years old. So that also felt really good. If you're working from home right now, take some time, do some deep cleaning. Oh my God, it's such a pain, but it feels so good. Anyway guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below for more beauty videos from me. I put out two beauty videos every week on Tuesday and Friday. Huge shout out to my patrons who make these videos possible. If you want to help support my channel, you can like it, comment, subscribe, share it, or think about becoming either a patron or a YouTube member. It really helps me out. Uh, aside from that, thank you for just watching, and I will see you in my next beauty video. Bye!